There are eight species of bear that live across the globe. However, Britain doesn't have any wild bears roaming its countryside. But that wasn't always the case. In fact, around 7,000 years ago, there were thought to be more than 13,000 brown bears in Britain. They fed on large mammals like deer, elk, and bison, as well as consuming berries and roots when prey was scarce. But as little as 1,000 years ago, all of the bears disappeared from the British Isles. So, what happened to Britain's bears? Where did they go, and will they ever come back? Britain used to be attached to mainland Europe via a land bridge. This meant that animals could traverse to and from Britain with ease. Whatever species were in mainland Europe, like the European brown bear, were also found within Britain. Today, there are around 18,000 brown bears across 22 different countries within Europe, excluding Russia. The largest population is in the Carpathian Mountains of Romania. Inside Russia, there are thought to be over 100,000 brown bears, about 36,000 of which are in European Russia. But as the last ice age came to an end, the ice melted and the sea levels rose. The land bridge that was connecting continental Europe to Britain was soon buried beneath the sea around 8,500 years ago. Those animals that were inhabiting Britain were now trapped on the island. They needed to adapt to the changes that were happening across Britain. Otherwise, they faced extinction. After the last ice age, the landscape and habitats changed throughout Britain in part due to a changing and warmer climate, and in part due to human settlements. Forests came and went. Vast grasslands contracted in size and gave way to woodland. Native animals came under pressure. Those who had been well adapted to the cold of the Ice Age now struggled in Britain. This led to the population of bears dwindling. One of the large mammals that the bears fed on was the Pleistocene woodland bison, Bison Shotensaki. These bison began to die out. They lost their open grassland habitats to encroaching woodland and were hunted by humans. This species of bison also existed in mainland Europe. From fossil evidence and mass excavations by scientists, it has been concluded that this species of bison was the most heavily targeted animal by human hunters. They were used for their meat, bones, horns, and hide. They became extinct from Britain 6,000 years ago, and with them gone, the bears lost a valuable source of prey. But there were still deer that bears could hunt, and these provided food for other British species that have also gone extinct, such as the Eurasian lynx, thought to have been in Britain until the 17th century, and the wolf which survived in Britain until 1760. With nowhere to escape due to Britain being sealed off from the rest of Europe, the remaining animals had to avoid human persecution to survive. Just like in other parts of the world, many large mammals died out in Britain after the last ice age. But those that did survive beyond that, like the brown bear, the bison, wolf, Eurasian lynx, and even Britain's moose, were sadly driven to extinction by humans. The expansion of human settlements, where woodlands were destroyed to make way for houses and farmland, restricted the wild animals' habitats. It is hard for scientists to determine exactly when the bears became extinct in Britain. Specimens of them remain relatively rare. Some have been found in caves and fissures, but they are patchy and many have not been dated yet. The specimens provide evidence of their existence from the very south of England to the north of Scotland, spanning the length of Britain. They were present from the Stone Age to post-medieval times, but with their woodlands chopped down for timber and the species feeling the pressure of being hunted, they started to become rare shortly after Britain entered Roman times, from AD 43 to AD 410. 
there is evidence of a greater number of bears in the region. However, this unusual spike in specimens from that era isn't thought to have been from a sudden boom in the population of bears, which would indicate that they were recovering from an all-time low. Instead, it is believed that it is from the large numbers of bears that were being imported from mainland Europe by the Romans. They brought over the bears to be used in entertainment, such as bear dancing and bear baiting. For this reason, it is difficult to say whether the bear specimens that scientists have uncovered in Britain are descendants of these imported bears or are from the original British bears that once thrived in the wild. When the last wild bear died is not yet clear, but scientists are working hard to try to pinpoint a time frame. Although the wild bears of Britain became extinct, they were still imported into the country beyond Roman times. Bears were present in the Tower of London and continued to be imported into Britain well into the 20th century. Just like they had been for the Romans, Dancing bears were a common form of entertainment for the paying public. They have been symbolic throughout Britain for hundreds of years, appearing in coats of arms, being woven into Celtic mythology, and appearing widely as teddy bears for children. They were also widely used for their body parts, with bear grease still being sold in Britain in the early 20th century as a reputed treatment for hair loss. Although the British bears once roamed the island's wilderness, could they survive there now? Or has the landscape changed too much? As with many locally extinct species, there is always the question of reintroducing the animals that were once native to a country. The term rewilding is popular in Britain at the moment. It is an attempt to reverse a damaged landscape and revert Britain's lost wilderness using more traditional methods. Some projects have involved bringing back some ancient wildlife to achieve this. A small population of European bison has been introduced to a small area in Britain to be used in natural woodland management. They debark the weaker trees, which naturally fall and decompose on the forest floor. It is a more natural way to fell trees than using machinery and the presence of the bison has a positive effect in other ways, such as providing natural fertilizer from their dung. If they do well there, then they could be introduced to other areas too, and maybe one day they will become a common sight across Britain's rural landscape once more. But reintroducing a potential predator like the brown bear into a place where there aren't any dangerous predators is a whole other situation. According to a survey, a quarter of Britons wanted to see brown bears reintroduced to British woodlands. However, unlike people who live in other parts of Europe or North America, Britons aren't used to sharing their countryside with bears. The British would need to understand the safety precautions needed when out hiking in the woods, as they haven't lived alongside bears for 6,000 years people would need to be educated about the protocol when coming face to face with a deadly animal on a gentle Sunday afternoon stroll. Those who live in bear habitats would have to take certain precautions, such as storing their food and trash securely and closing windows and doors. Introducing bears would require a whole different mindset for Britons. It would also bring into question the use of guns with people needing to defend themselves when in bear country, something no government is going to want to introduce into a firearm-free Britain. Although it would be exciting to see brown bears in Britain once more, it is probably not a sensible rewilding project for this modern era. However, there is a chance to see European brown bears in Britain, and not necessarily inside a zoo either. The UK's largest brown bear exhibit, called Bear Wood, has just four brown bears roaming a 7.5-acre woodland alongside wolves and lynxes. It is safely fenced off from the public, but allows people to step back in time to observe the woodland wildlife of medieval Britain. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, 
don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.